Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another Swift tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how we can add a YouTube video component to our app. So as you can see here, we have one of the other iOS Academy videos. And of course, we can play the video and we get the scrubber down here. We can pause the video. We can move it around. And we'll also be taking a look at how we can use its delegate to get video events, the state changing and things like that. We'll also take a look at how to play it in line like you saw here versus playing it full screen. So with that all said, make sure you smash that like button down below. Helps out the channel, the video quite a bit. Subscribe if you're new for some awesome Swift content. Get Xcode ready, get excited, and let's jump right in. So let's get started by creating a new project. We are going to stick with our single view application and we will call this project YouTube player example. Let's stick it on our desktop and get straight into it. So the first thing we need to do is bring in a framework that is authored by Google that lets us bring in a YouTube player and embed it fairly simply. So we're gonna use CocoaPods as per usual. So let's open up terminal and CD into our project. We're gonna do a pod in it. And once this returns in a second, we're gonna do a open pod file. Let me just expand this. Let's do an open pod file. Now I've already copied it from before uh, from GitHub, but basically the pod is YouTube iOS player helper. Make sure it's all lowercase and with the dashes like so. And let's go ahead and close text edit. We can now do a pod install and we should see our library installed like so. We see it right here. Make sure it's green like so, indicating success. And after we get this successfully installed, we can close our Xcode window by doing a command W. And of course we wanna open up the workspace now. So let's hit command K and we can open up the project name .xc workspace. And once this is open, let me first start by expanding the Xcode window here. And let's also expand our project hierarchy on the left side over here. Cool, so before we put our own code in here, let's pick a simulator and hit command R to build and run. We want to make sure that the installed CocoaPod is compiling and there's no issues. So cool. So we have our empty application launching on the right here. Let's actually throw in our YouTube player. So we're going to start by importing in this file the framework. So YouTube uh, iOS player helper. We want this top one. And let me just hit Command B to compile, make sure it imports properly. Uh, this framework basically gives us a subclass of a UI view, and I believe it's called a YT player view. And we're gonna create an outlet for it. So it'll be an IB outlet, and let's call it player view. So it'll be YT player view, like so. And basically this player view allows us to configure it with a delegate as well as a player URL. So before we go to our storyboard to bring in this player view, we're gonna say player view dot load with video ID. And this ID will keep empty right now. Um, and we'll talk about what this is and where to find it in just a moment. Uh, but anyways, let's uh, ignore all these warnings over here and go to our storyboard. And I often use this trick where we can hit Command Shift O to open up a project file spotlight search. And I search for files in here. And the reason it's such a habit is because once you start working on large projects, this tree over here becomes extremely irrelevant when there's over 50,000 files. So Command Shift O, super useful trick. So anyways, we are going to find a UI view in our a uh, set of UI kit items here. We'll drag it onto the storyboard. And before we add constraints to this guy, we wanna come up here, select this tab, 
change the class of this to be yt player view and we want to connect the outlet so let's right click this and drag from our player view to this player view and you notice it was just a ui view but we added that uh, specific class because yt player view inherits from ui view um, that's how google has built it so that's how we need to configure it so what I also like to do is set the background color of this to black. And the reason I like to do that is it indicates more so that a video is loading uh, for the duration that uh, it hasn't loaded yet. But let's select it and add some constraints. So we're going to say 0, 0, 0. And we're going to give this a fixed height of, let's say, 300. Hit Enter, like so. And let's hit Command R to see what we get. So if you recall, we didn't actually give it a valid video ID. So let's see what we get here. So we have this play button. Um, and if we click it, you'll see that it gives us an error because nothing actually is able to load because we didn't provide a valid video ID. So let's go back to our view controller and whoops, we want to find a valid video ID. So what the heck is a video ID and where do you get it? So you might know this already. Um, but we need to go to YouTube and here we are on my channel and basically let's click on any of these videos and if you come up here to the URL we have this uh, video ID or watch uh, question mark video ID equals that's what the V is for so we want to take this identifier and we want to paste that as the string in here so let's hit command R to build and run one more time and now you'll actually see that the thumbnail also shows up behind the play button. So if we hit this, you'll see that the video starts playing. So two more things I want to touch on before we wrap this video up. So you notice when we hit play, the video actually jumped to full screen. So now what if we want to play it in line? So it's just, just basically sitting here and it'll play in this uh, rect that we have defined with constraints. So you can do that with player configurations. And the other thing I'll mention here is this player view has a delegate. So for example, let's say we want the video to automatically start playing once it's loaded. We can say player view dot delegate, which if you look over here is a YT player view delegate itself. And let's come up here and make sure we add conformance to YT player view delegate. And if you hold command and click into this, you'll see that there are uh, quite a few functions that we have available here. So player view did become ready. Player view did change to state. So the one we care about is this one here. Player view did become ready. So let's come into here and say player view did become ready. Now we wanna say player view and we can just say play video and the other thing we want to talk about is uh, and I guess let me actually run this before we talk about the configuration piece that I mentioned so you'll see that the video will start playing automatically once it's loaded but it still jumps to full screen so that's not what we want we want it to stay in place so let's copy this ID and get rid of this if you open up the parentheses again you can see that you can um, create this load function and there's two options so there is with video ID actually there's a couple options with playlist ID so you can actually even use this uh, component to load in a playlist but the one I want to talk about is uh, with video ID and player vars so player vars is a dictionary that we can specify configuration settings in so let's take this variant of the function, put our uh, identifier back in, and what we want to put in here is plays inline, or it might be video plays inline, let's see, we'll find out in just a second, and we want to pass in one, and I believe that's the setting that we need to play this inline, but let's find out. So yeah, there you go. So let's actually stop this. And yeah, that is basically how you can play a YouTube video or embed one into your app. 
So a couple of things I'll mention here is, and actually this will start playing again, so let me <laughs> let me close this. Um, the, other, the thing I'll mention is this, uh, this is really good for embedding a couple of videos into your controller. It's super simple to do, and you actually don't even need to use a storyboard to do it. In this case, we are. What you could in fact also do is create this component programmatically. So we can say let uh, other player is simply this. And we can do a view dot add sub view other player. Keep in mind that if we click actually into this, you'll see that this YT player view is nothing more than a subclass of a UI view, which also takes a UI view delegate. So essentially what this is doing under the hood, for those of you that are interested, is it's actually loading in an iframe um, and a web view to render this component into the UI view. Um, and it loads it into the player controller that is built into the operating system. So it doesn't look like it's a web view, but that's what it in fact is. So that being said, um, thanks for watching. If you haven't smashed that like button already, make sure you do so. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions, any suggestions. Uh, I try to reply to every single comment. I love hearing from you guys. Subscribe if you haven't done so already to stay up to date with these videos. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.